Welcome back everybody to Terraria and today we're going to be making a wing guide. Now this guide is going to cover everything you need to know about the wings such as how to get them, what tier they are, what the crafting recipes are, and what is their stats. If you guys are down with that there will be timestamps to each and every step on how to get them so you guys can skip through. So before we get into the guide itself, how many wings are in the game and what wings we are going to be looking at. Starting off with the fledging wings, the angel wings, the demon wings, leaf wings, fairy wings, fin wings, frozen wings, harpy wings, jetpack, red wings, wills wings, chrono wings, senex wings, barrier platform, the spell, jim's wings, the paws, loki's wings, the light wings, Len uh, lenford's cloak, and then we have Ghost Stars Infinity 8, Safe Man's Cape, a Blanket Cape, Food Barbarians, Tatters Dragon Wings, Grokes the Great Wings, D-Town Wings, we have Bat Wings, Bee Wings, Butterfly Wings, Flame Wings, Hoverboard, Bone Wings, Mothron Wings, Spectre Wings, Beetle Wings, Festive Wings, Spooky Wings, Tattered Fairy Wings, Steampunk Wings, Betsy's Wings, Empress Wings, Fishron Wings, Nebula Mantle, Vortex Booster, Solar Wings, Stardust Wings, and the Celestial Starboard. There is a Lot of wings in this game. I'm going to also put these wings into groups as well, such as the developer wings. They're wings that for each and every developer of Terraria. And I'm also going to go ahead and group the ones that are like low tier, such as the angel wings, demon wings, and weeflings, and from the stardust and solar wings, and also the celestial starboard. But there's also some certain wings that you can't get in certain game modes. We'll go over all of that. So the first thing that is, uh, is we're going to mark down is the fledging wings. They are the only pre-hard mode wings you can get. And the way you get them is they are obtained upon creation of a journey mode character, or you can get them from sky chest, sky crates, azure crates. So just keep that in mind that these are, are the only pre-hard mode wings that you can get into the game. And we are going to get on to all the hard mode wings. So to get most of the wings in the game, you have to be in the hard mode. So make sure you defeated the wall of flesh first before you try to do this, because you do need to be in the hard mode because you are going to need souls of flight now in order to get souls of flight you are going to need to go into the space layer of your world and to defeat the wyvern the wyverns look like this and you and they drop five to ten souls of flight upon killing now i do recommend trying to get up your gear because these are kind of difficult to defeat in the beginning of hard mode <laughs> So once you've uh, gotten to the space layer, I do recommend having water candle and a platform because you are going to need to also kill harpies that are also in the space layer as well. So it kind of plays a big role because harpies drop feathers, the wyvern drops the souls of flight. You do need the feathers in order to create almost every single wing in this game. With that being said, once you guys have farmed some wyverns and farmed some harpies, we can get on on how to make each and every one of these wings. First two that we're going to actually go through because these are uh, these these two are quite similar is the angel and demon wings. In order to make the angel or demon wings is going to be 10 feathers, 20 souls of flight, and 25 souls of light or night. The knight is going to be the demon wings and the light is going to be the angel wings. Now, in order to get these, I have a whole video on how to get souls in Terraria. If you guys want to watch that video, it'll be linked down in the description or in the card system. If you guys want to go check that out first. The next one's going to be leaf wings. Leaf wings is sold by the witch doctor in hard mode jungle after defeating Plantera. It is sold for one platinum and 50 gold. I wouldn't recommend getting the leaf wings because they are the same as the angel and demon wings. The next one is going to be the fairy wing. And in order to make the fairy wings, you're going to need 20 souls of flight and 99 pixie dust. Once you go and farm pixie dust, it drops one to three pixie dust in a 100% chance rate. All you need to do is go into the hollowed biome, which is the colorful one with the rainbows. Kill as much as pixies as you can. You'll get one to three and a 100% chance of dropping from pixies. The next one is going to be the fin wings. And the fin wings are a quest that you get. It's a crest reward from the angler. The angler is an NPC that you'll find on the edge of the world in the beach biome. You have a 1 in 70 chance for every quest after 10 quests. Know that you are going to need to fish a lot for the angler because that's how the quests are done by the angler. You have to fish so it's going to be it's going to take a lot of time to get the fin wings. Next one is going to be the frozen wings and to, in order to get the frozen wings it's going to be 20 souls of flight and an ice feather. The ice feather comes from the ice golem which will only spawn in 
the ice biome during a blizzard and it only has a chance of dropping one of a 33.3% chance of drop rate. It has a one in three chance of dropping. So next one is going to be the harpy wings. And to get the harpy wings, you are going to need 20 souls of flight and a giant harpy feather. Now the giant harpy feather drops from the harpy and has only a 0.5% drop rate. That is a low drop rate. So this one is going to take a long time to get. You're gonna to need to farm a lot of harpies. It has a one in 200 chance. That's what that is. That's a 0.5% drop rate. So next one is going to be the jet pack. Sold by the steampunk for 40 gold in certain moon phases. I'll put the moon phases up here. These are the moon phases that the steampunk will only sell the jet pack. The next wings are going to to be a group of them so the developer wings red's wings d town's wings will's wings chrono's wings cynic's wings and all of the above so in order to get to the uh, any of the developer wings you're going to need to be into expert mode or master mode because they drop from treasure bags from yeah from hard mode bosses and not the queen slime they will not drop from the queen slime they have a 0.3 percent chance of coming in treasure bags expert mode or master mode next one is going to be the bat wings and in order to get the bat wings it's going to be 20 souls of flight and a broken bat wing the broken bat wing has a 2.5 percent chance of dropping from vampires and the solar eclipse now the solar eclipse is actually a, an event that spawns you have a five percent chance for it happening naturally next one's going to be the b wings and in order to get the B-Wings, you're going to need 20 Souls of Flight and a Tattered B-Wing. To get the Tattered B-Wing, it begins to drop after at least one mechanical boss has been defeated. And the way to get it is going to drop from uh, Moss Hornets in the jungle. And it has a 0.67% chance uh, rate of dropping. So that is a 1 in 150. Farm some Moss Hornets and then you'll have a 1 in 150 a chance of dropping... <laughs> for the moss hornet to drop the bee, tattered bee wing next one's going to be the butterfly wings the butterfly wings require 20 souls of flight and butterfly dust now in order to get the butterfly dust it actually begins dropping after at least one mechanical boss has been defeated it is going to drop from a moth in the underground jungle and it has a one in two chance or a 50 percent chance of being dropped by moths in the underground jungle next one is going to be the flame wings now the in order to get the flame wings it's going to require 20 souls of flight and a fire feather in order to get the, the fire a feather you're going to need to go down into the underworld and you're going to need to defeat the red devil now the red devil will not spawn unless if you defeated at least one mechanical boss like normal and it has a one in 75 percent chance a one in 75 chance of dropping that's 1.33 percent chance of dropping from red devils being in the underworld and having a water candle it should help the spawn rate of red devils but yeah it's a one in 75 chance so you're going to be farming them for a little bit next one is going to be the hoverboard and in order to get the hoverboard it's going to be 20 souls of flight and 18 shroomite bars now in order to get shroomite bars you're going to need to do a couple of things if you already haven't so you're going to need to have chlorophyte but you're also going to have to have glowing mushrooms but you're also going to have to have the auto hammer and now the auto hammer is sold by the truffle and that is a npc that will spawn in if you made a makeshift glowing mushroom biome and he'll spawn in but the auto hammer is sold by one platinum from the truffle and you need the auto hammer in order to make shroomite bars it, the shroomite bars is chlorophyte glowing mushrooms but you're going to need the auto hammer and it's sold for one platinum from the truffle so you're going to need to do make a makeshift biome glowing mushroom biome have them spawn in and buy the auto hammer in order to get shroomite bars Next one is going to be the bone wings and in order to get the bone wings it's going to be 20 souls of flight and a bone feather. Now in order to get the bone feather you're going to need to defeat have defeated Plantera. Now this is a post Plantera drop so once you have defeated Plantera you're going to need to go down to the dungeon and you're going to need to kill at least three enemies and that is the blue armor bones the hell armored bones and the rusty armored bones these well it has a one in 450 chance of dropping or a 0.22 percent chance next one is going to be the mothron wings now the mothron wings drop from by mothron in order to get mothron to spawn in you're going to need to have a po you're gonna have to have a post planetary solar eclipse spawn in so that's the only way Mon uh, Mothron will spawn in. You have to defeat Plantera before Mothron will spawn in, in the solar eclipse. With that being said, 
Mothron has a 5% chance of dropping Mothron wings. So it is a low, it is actually pretty low chance of dropping. Next wings is going to be the Spectre wings. And in order to get the Spectre wings, you're going to need 20 souls of flight and 10 Spectre bars. Now, in order to get the Spectre bars, you're going to need to have Ectoplasm and Chlorophyte. Now, in order to get Ectoplasm, you're going to need to go into the dungeon post plant Terra, and you're going to need to get them from dungeon spirits. Once you have defeated some of the dungeon spirits, it will drop one or two ectoplasms 100% of the time. And then you could go ahead and make the specter bars with the chlorophyte. Next one is going to be the beetle wings. And in order to get the beetle wings, you're going to need 20 souls of flight and a beetle husk. Now, in order to get the beetle husk, you're going to need to defeat the golem. Now the golem is a boss right after Plantera. So the golem will drop four to eight husk 100% of the time. Every time you defeat the golem, they'll always drop the beetle husk. You have to defeat golem either once or two times to get the beetle wings. Next one is going to be the Festa wings and is dropped by Everscream. Now, Everscream is a miniature boss in the Frost Moon event. You can spawn in the Frost Moon event by yourself. It's actually got a certain crafting recipe, but I'm not going to go in with that in this video. This is all about the wings. So in order to get that, you're going to need to defeat the miniature boss in the frost moon event and it has a a 61 percent or a 6.67 percent chance of dropping the festive wings next one is going to be the spooky wing now in order to get the spooky wings you're going to need 20 souls of flight and a spooky twig in order to get the spooky twig it drops from a miniature boss called morning one in, in the pumpkin moon event it has a two or 20 percent chance to drop the spooky twig once you guys, it will increase the drop rate once you guys get into higher waves. Next wings is going to be the Tattered Fairy Wings. In order to get the Tattered Fairy Wings, it's going to be 20 souls of flight and black fairy dust. Now, in order to get the, the black fairy dust, you're going to need to, it is dropped by one of the pumpkins in the pumpkin moon event. So, and it has a one 0.04% chance to 12.5% chance of dropping from the pumpkin and it will increase as waves go by just as like the spooky twig and these are both again in the same event so you can kill two birds with one stones if you guys want to get the tattered fairy wings and the spooky wings at the same time. Next one is going to be the steampunk wings and that is sold by the steampunk after Plantera has been, it's actually post golem. So you have to defeat Plant Terra and you have to defeat Golem. And it is going to be sold for a whopping three platinum by the Steampunker. So it is going to be a pretty expensive wing to get if you want to get these Steampunk wings. You're going to need to save up your coins a lot. <laughs> Next wings is going to be Betsy wings and in order to get the Betsy's wings, you're going to, it's going to be dropped by Betsy. Now, Betsy is a mini boss that is spawned by the old ones army event, but is a post golem boss that will spawn in the old ones army. And by wave seven, she will spawn in. It has a 25% chance of dropping the Betsy's wings and it is a pretty low, but kind of not too low percent chance of dropping. So I think it'll take a couple of tries and this is in one of the vets so it is a wave but it does not increase next one is going to be the empress wings so the empress wings is going to be dropped by the empress of light and it has a 6.67 percent chance of dropping from the empress of light so you're going to try you're going to be fighting the empress of light a couple of times it is a boss that you will you will you can spawn in and it is a post uh, plant terra fought in the hollowed and you will need to probably fight this a couple of times i'd say a couple of times next wings is going to be the fish wrong wings and it is dropped by duke fish run one in 15 chance of dropping from duke fish run duke fish run is a pretty difficult boss so you will be needing to fight duke fish run a couple of times before the, these wings will drop but in time they will drop and they are pretty cool wings to get now the next four wings are actually going to be explained in a different fashion because these are the very end game wings besides a certain one so these in order to get the nebula mantle the vortex booster the solar wings and the stardust wings you are going to need to defeat the moon lord which is the end game boss the nebula mantle requires uh, 14 nebula fragments and 10 luminite bars the vortex booster requires 14 vortex fragments and 10 luminite bars and the solar wings require solar fragments and the 14 solar fragments and 10 luminite bars and the stardust wings require 
14 stardust fragments and 10 luminite bars so in order to get these fragments you're going to need to defeat the lunatic lunatic cultist after you defeated the lunatic cultist the lunar event will spawn in and there will be four pillars such as the stardust pillar the solar fragment pillar vortex pillar and the nebula pillar and those pillars once you have defeated them so the stardust pillar has a 12 it will drop 12 to 60 100 percent of the time pillar will drop 12 to 60 100 percent of the time the vortex uh, pillar will drop 12 to 60 so that's 12 to 60 so it can be in the middle too but it's 12 to 60 but the luminite bars are dropped by the uh, moon lord so each time the moon lord is killed it will drop 17 to 25 illuminate bars but they're not in bars they're actually in the ore so you'll need to smelt the ore but it is 17 to 25 bars every time you defeat the moon lord and the last one is going to be the celestial starboard which is also dropped by the moon lord but it's also in expert or master mode so once you defeat the moon lord in expert or master mode it will uh, the moon lord will drop the celestial starboard 100 percent of the time it will drop from one of the treasure bags and you'll 100 get the celestial starboard by the moon lord once you defeated it expert mode or master mode now the next thing that we're going to go through is the specs of the wings now if you don't want to stay here for this video you guys don't need to because you guys already know how to get all the wings in the game so just letting you guys know this is going to be the specs and what they do and what's so different about each and every one of them so the angel demon and leaf wings have a height of 53 and a mile per hour of 32. so the next set is going to be fairy fin frozen and harpy wings these all have a 60 a height of 67 and a speed of 34. the next few is going to be the developer wings and the jetpack now the jetpack and the developer wings have a 77 uh, per height and a 36 mile per hour speed so the next group of wings is the bat b butterfly and flame wings they all have a height of 87 and a speed of 38 and none of these really do have any type of special effect group of wings is going to be the hoverboard bone mothron the specter wings and the beetle wings they all have a height of 99 and a mile per hour of 38 but the hoverboard is slower with a uh, speed of 33 next few gr next group of wings is going to be the festive the spooky the tattered fairy wings and the steampunk wings now these wings have a height of 107 and go a, a, a speed of 38 now the next set of uh, wings is actually going to be a couple of them uh, here and there because the next few wings are actually at different heights and different speeds. So Betsy's wings is going to have a height of 119 and a speed of 36. Next one is going to be the fish run wings. Now the fish run wings has a height of 143 and a speed of uh, 41. So movement penalty in liquids is ignored when you have the fish run wings on and it leaves behind a water bubble trail. Now the next two is going to be the same. They both have a height of 143 and a speed of 33 and that's going to be the nebula mantle and the vortex booster. Then the next two is going to be the solar and the, the stardust. Now these ones have 167 height and a 46 speed. The next one is going to be the expert mode one and it's going to be the celestial starboard and the celestial starboard is by far the best one that you can get it does have a speed of 41 but it has a height of 201 tiles slower ascend with quicker uh, acceleration while using the up key kind of like the empress lights and you also can hover with this one so if you push the thing uh if you push uh down and jump you can go ahead and float <laughs> you can float there obviously it is allowed uh, a lot of time and then you can also extend up pretty quickly and get up to 201 blocks which is pretty crazy that is all the stuff that you need to know all about the wings on how to get them on what what they do how they do all the special effects and i hope this was really helpful for you guys because if it was i'm super glad that it was actually helpful for you guys and with that being said as always, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'll probably do some more Terraria guides later on. So if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.